Shop with me at Dollar Tree. How to eat? Five dollar budget. Dollar stores may not be the first option that comes to mind for grocery I like shopping. I use these a lot as a base. But for millions of Americans living in food deserts, there aren't many other options. We have three dollar, four. I tagged along with content creator Rebecca Shobot, who's made it her mission to help low-income households make the best meals they can with what they have on hand. Under her Dollar Tree Dinners TikTok account, she makes recipes using dollar store ingredients, getting the idea from other creators like Alanya Williams making dollar store recipes. She wanted to take it a step further though, making them as nutritious and accessible as possible. There are a lot of people who live in their cars or live in vans. They don't have a fridge, they don't have a stove. So what, what food options are available for them? It's part of a national debate on food accessibility. You can also find uh, good options at dollar stores. It's not the ideal way, but we, you absolutely can. Dollar stores themselves are blamed for contributing to food deserts and what the USDA calls food swamps, areas where there are foods available, but the options are low in nutritional value, a.k.a. junk food. Researchers at the University of Toronto and UCLA found a big decline in independent grocers when dollar stores move into neighborhoods. They provide affordable options, but when you only have you know, dollar stores in the neighborhood, it becomes a problem. As for its role, Dollar Tree says it's working to make more options available. In a statement, the company saying in part, our main priority is serving the needs of our customers. We continue to offer packaged foods and a growing selection of frozen items that we are constantly evaluating. With our After our grocery lentils. trip, Rebecca made us some spicy sausage and lentil soup. The total for all the ingredients needed was just over $12, and it made six servings. At about $2 per meal, that's cheaper than many fast food combo meals. It seems great to me. Legume, a lentil, high in protein and fibers, I see meat. Have you ever had Dollar Tree food before? Maybe I haven't, just didn't know it. <laughs> Rebecca says she hopes people won't be so quick to judge others who are struggling with food insecurity. These are people who are just trying to make it day by day. They're just trying to feed themselves, and they're just trying to feed their family. Stephen Romo, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.